uh, just talk about how the weekend went. You know, what, what did you guys kind of think coming in? What did you think it was going to be like, and, and what was it really like? I mean, I didn't really know what to expect coming in. Uh, Troop said it was going to be a lot of fun and kind of a dip, different atmosphere, like as far as no football stuff and all, like kind of fellowship, just fun stuff. So I was kind of anxious to, you know, see what was going to happen. And uh, I guess in a way that's kind of what I thought it was going to be, but in a way it kind of wasn't, and it was a lot of fun. And I enjoyed it, but I think it was great, and I think it definitely helped us out a lot as far as recruiting. Yeah, I mean, this is Zeke said. I didn't know what we was doing. I was just, Big Cat, I mean, like, what's Big Cat? What do we do at Big Cat? But, but yeah, we definitely went out today and had a lot of fun. Got a chance to see new people, meet new people. And it was definitely good for everybody to come down here to Auburn to see what they had to offer. How unique was this weekend? Have y'all visited other places before? Have y'all, had y'all even heard of something like this where you just come basically hang out? I didn't, I didn't even hear of Big Cat Day till I committed, like, and they're like, all right, well, we gotta get you down for Big Cat Day and help us out. And I was like, what is Big Cat Day like? But it's definitely a great recruiting tool, you know. It's 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 it, it being like legal is just a great way to get kids, you know, down this early in in this in the summer. You know, this is probably a lot of kids' first stop in the summer or kind of like the last stop in the spring, kind of. So, but I think it's definitely a great recru- recruiting tool, and um, you know, it, it gives you the ability to talk to kids who uh, you're trying to get them on campus and getting them to see things and getting them to show what you have to offer. So I think it was definitely a big help. I mean, the coaches really came up with a good plan for that because it's definitely going to help us out and help them out. So by them just getting everybody down here and just showing them what they got to offer in person really should mean a lot to them. Right now, I don't know if you guys know, there's like 25 players on the team right now that visited the last couple of big cats. Do you all feel like Y'all can make that kind of impact in you know, the next couple of years. I feel like a lot of you know, your teammates will come from this weekend. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a great feeling about this weekend. Uh, I feel like a lot of kids are uh, ha- had some schools that were, were kind of kind of close, and I think this may have put them over the edge. You know, uh, I guess everybody's kind of got a different timetable, and uh, but I think it's definitely going to help out a lot of kids, and it's going to give them a better understanding for what all, what's Auburn's about, and. You know, just getting the chance to ask questions they needed to ask because, you know, some kids could be getting close and some kids do have a couple months. But uh, I think it's definitely a great tool just to get down here and see, you know, what we're about at Auburn and, you know, how we're going to be a family. And uh, it's just a great way to show it. Yeah, I mean, after this weekend, we'll definitely reel in some recruits. I mean, like our goal is right now is to have a number one recruiting class and that Big Cat weekend really helped us a lot. Yeah, I know both of you guys have said that. Yeah, I mean, well, especially at the quarterback position, like, a lot of people are going to follow you, you know, the receivers want to know who, who's, who they going to be catching balls for, you know, the linemen are going to know, you know, am I going to be getting good pub, if my quarterback's good, he's going to tell them how good, good of his line is, so, uh, I, I guess my thing was, is, I wanted to be able to go somewhere where I could recruit kids, and I could, you know, help, help get the kids I want on my team, and, uh, you know, I, I found out about Darian, you know, a couple of days after I committed, or actually I might have been getting ready to commit, and I called him up and said, like, hey, man, let's do this. And he's like, all right, you do yours, and I'm going to do mine. And day, day, gone. So that's what we're yeah. trying to do. Yeah, I was going to ask you, did y'all have – you committed a day later, Darian, you yeah. committed. Yeah. Did y'all have some conversations before? Oh, yeah. 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 I, how, I, I, know, I know I saw on your Facebook you're listening yeah. to your brother, and y'all, y'all really talk about – you know, y'all's friendship, and obviously this weekend was your first time to yeah. to meet face to face. Have y'all kind of formed a, a pretty good? Yeah, it's just time. weird. It's yeah. just like I, I told him last <laughs> night. I was I feel like I've known you forever. Like it's just weird, and you know God just works works in mysterious ways. You know, so uh, I don't know, but I think God's definitely gonna make this team a special team. And that's the thing about Auburn is you know the last couple of years it has been a real special team as far as bonding and being a family and. Uh, you know, Coach Chizik will tell you, you know, last year's team was just, there was such a bond on that team that was so special. And, you know, in order to be a great team and, you know, to win championships, you all got to get along. And that's kind of what it's about right now is building those relationships for the future. Was that kind of what y'all did this weekend? Did y'all kind yeah. of try to relate yeah. what yeah. all was about to the guys who made it yeah. work? Yeah. Uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're just trying to do is just, you know, just talk to everybody and, and get a chance to meet everybody and talk to everybody. I mean, yeah. When you look at him, six, six seven tight end, you know, yeah. somebody you could be throwing to the future. How 
how excited you know he is you know, about that project. I mean, I don't look up to too many people, so he's a big <laughs> dude, man. Um, what about uh, what are some some kids that, that I know? Obviously, Shane yeah. Callahan, the big offensive yeah. line, committed today. You know, what does that kind of mean? Obviously, the offensive line is. Yeah, I think uh, I think it, it was big time. You know, I mean, I, I think they're gonna start rolling in. Um, you know, I know Patrick Miller's close. Uh, Jaquay Williams, T.J. Yelton, um, you know, Ricardo Lewis. You know, a lot of these guys are really close. So um, it's just about their timetable, and you know, you can't really force it upon them. But all you can do is encourage them and just continue to stay on them. And that's my thing is just shoot them a text every now and then. What's going on? You know, how's things going? And, just try to you know keep the lines of communication open because you know those are guys you want to play with. So I was going to ask you when, when you when you talk to these recruits, do you pitch on Auburn or do you do you start kind of as a friendship and pick, I mean what, what, you know when y'all yeah. respond to them? I mean track? I don't try to pitch Auburn nothing. You know I just try to say you know hey I want you to be a part of the team because I mean I've I was in, I was in their shoes a couple months ago when everybody's trying to tell you come here come there. You know, do this, do that. Really, it's just got to be about your heart. And I tell them, you know, it's a great place. You know, we're gonna we're gonna do great things here. We're gonna be a family here, and you know, we're gonna win games and we're gonna try to get back to the national championship. But you know, you gotta follow your heart. That's the most important thing. You know, if you ain't gonna love being where you're at, then you're gonna hate going to football every day. So. Exactly. For both y'all, what what was it? Obviously, Auburn was success on the field, but was there something else in terms of your decision and, and what was another factor in terms of your commitment to Auburn that you kind of just felt it was the right place? Of course, the uh, family atmosphere. I mean, that's that's crazy. Cause like you go to, you go visit the other schools. I mean, it's like it's like just a huge, huge high school. But if you come down here, then you got people helping people, and then you got you got somebody to rely on, somebody you can depend on, somebody you can trust. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about. I say re family. relationships were the biggest thing for yeah. me. It's like a lot of schools I went to where. I would talk to the quarterback coach or the offensive coordinator and the head coach, but I wouldn't, wouldn't ever, you know, really spend much time with the quarterback, with the with the running backs, or the receivers, or the line coach. Like, I just feel so comfortable with everybody here, and feel like I can walk in anybody's office and sit down and just talk to them about anything. And I guess that's a, that's one of the greatest things about it is it's just the relationships. Is everybody's got a family. Every coach has a family, so they all know what everybody's going through, and it's just nice to you know to be able to depend on those people. Who were some of the coaches that stood out? Like who recruited you? Or who are some of the coaches after after a day down there today that kind of stand out that you know, to both of you guys? I mean, true, um, true. <laughs> yeah, true standing out to everybody. But uh, you know, Coach Malzahn and um, you know Coach Looper and and Coach Chiz uh, and, and Troop. I mean, really have recruited me the hardest. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but that yeah, was Coach really Coach Bowler and Coach Digman. What sets them apart? Y'all visited a lot of places. What sets them apart from, from other coaches at other schools? I mean, it's just it's hard to explain. You know, you just feel the real. It's just kind of the feeling yeah. you get. Like you can you can say, you know, I don't know, they're full of it, or exactly. these people are real. Like, and that's just how I felt with Auburn. Like these people aren't feeding me what I want to hear. They're telling me the truth. What's next for you guys in terms of the summer? I know your your shoulders aren't. Yeah. You know, are you kind of rehabbing? From yeah, I, I still got probably another week or two before I can start rehab on my shoulder, but I should be able to start throwing in about five weeks. So uh, I, don't know, I plan on coming down here and camping, working with, with Coach Malzahn for, for a couple of days maybe if I get that opportunity. Um, but other than that, I don't have much. got a couple seven-on-sevens maybe if, if I'm healthy. Look out for us in Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you, you obviously got added to the yeah. seven-on-seven. Yeah. Dallas. What is that? Yeah. That was that big him yeah, I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, it's definitely we need to tie it in, so yeah, it's definitely gonna be fun too. Well, that you think that'll help? I mean, obviously. Yeah, I mean, is, a lot of those guys down there, everybody we're gonna be playing against is gonna be good. So I mean, yeah. it's just still good to go out there and start recruiting out there too. Yeah, and now you get to throw to a guy you're gonna be filming with for four years. Right. What's uh, what about next fall? Do you guys feel like you're gonna take a lot of visits other places, or is it just Auburn? No, I mean, I'm you know, not visiting. I mean, I'm trying to get out of school early so I can come out and play in the spring. And I was like, forget everything else. Yeah. Dude, I'm focused on this school and this school only. Yeah, I mean, that's the same here for me. I I've taken plenty of visits. I'm, I'm over the visit thing, man. So yeah. it's just nice to be able to relax and have a summer I can enjoy and not have to worry about traveling every weekend. Get sold pretty fast. <laughs> what, uh, if you had a recruiting pitch, you know, if, you, if, you're, if recruits are out there that are obviously in your shoes where you were a few months ago where you have all this stuff swirling, 
tell him about the process and what do you tell him about Auburn? I mean, you're not going to find a better place. No. I've been everywhere, you know. It ain't like I'm telling you, you know. Auburn's a great place, but I ain't ever been nowhere else. I've been everywhere else. I've seen everything. I've seen it all. You know, there's nothing like it. And uh, it's just something special, you know. And you can either be a part of it or not. You know, you can win a championship or yeah. not. <laughs> number one recruiting class. That's still... Oh, yeah. We're, we're oh, going yeah. to have the number one recruiting class. Top five for sure, but we're shooting for number one. You're making a guarantee, number one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah.